Perhaps the most common way to sample terrestrial arthropods is through the use of pitfall traps. As their name suggests, this is a hole dug into the ground into which walking arthropods fall. There are many considerations that you have to keep in mind when using pitfall traps effectively. Pitfall traps are often used because they're very easy to install, they're cheap, and they're passive forms of sampling. In other words, the trap can be out while you aren't there, and it can continue to trap insects through the night, and you come back at a later date and collect what you have. So the materials used to conduct pitfall trapping are generally some form of cup, something to dig with, and then oftentimes a killing agent is added to facilitate the dispatch of the arthropods. So for pitfall trapping, one of the most commonly used types of traps is simply a plastic cup. And there are many ways that you can do this. Using a double cup, a cup within a cup, is commonly used because that way one cup can remain in the ground, the arthropods fall into the, the inner cup, which can be removed and brought to the lab and so forth, leaving this cup and the hole that you dig intact in the ground. So this is commonly used. If you're in an area where it rains, this lower cup may have holes drilled into the bottom of it to allow drainage of rainwater. Otherwise, these cups are plastic, they're buoyant, and they may rise out of the hole after it rains. If you are in an area where it's going to rain, then you're going to want to either check your pitfall traps frequently or cover them anyway. But drilling holes does help that process. Another type of pitfall trap that's used also makes use of this plastic cup design. It may or may not have a funnel in it. The funnel channels insects down into it and also helps prevent them from climbing out. And then inside of this, there may be a smaller cup, collection cup, into which, hey, your arthropods fall. And again, holes drilled into the bottom for drainage. This remains in the ground. This goes back in after you've removed your arthropods. The final type of pitfall trap that's often used is a specimen cup with a screw-on lid and in general, this entire trap is removed from the ground. So you place this in the ground, you come back and collect, you remove the entire trap, screw the lid on, and you're good to go. So to install a pitfall trap, you dig a hole into the ground and you place your cups into it. And digging the hole is actually not as straightforward as it may appear. You need to make certain that the lip of the cup is flush with the ground surface. In cases where the ground substrate is very hard, it can be quite difficult to dig the hole. I typically use a spade with a metal handle, not a wooden one, because wooden ones tend to break off. And if the ground is particularly hard, you might pour some water over it and let it soak in, and that will soften it up. Now, you don't want to dig a very, very wide hole and you don't want to dig a hole that's any deeper than the cups. You want it to fit very snugly. So now that the pitfall trap is open, an arthropod walking along the ground will fall into it. However, it may escape. And so to minimize escapes and maximize captures, you can use a killing agent. The choice of killing agent will affect the results that you obtain because certain chemicals used as killing agents attract certain arthropods and repulse others. Water may be used as a killing agent. Ethanol, alcohol may be used as a killing agent. But one of the most commonly used killing agents is antifreeze, either ethylene glycol or propylene glycol. It's usually diluted with water, either 75% antifreeze to 25% water or 50-50, because the antifreeze is somewhat viscous and the choice of ethylene glycol and propylene glycol may have an impact if you have vertebrates in your area. Ethylene glycol is quite toxic to vertebrate wildlife, propylene glycol less so. And so if there's any chance of vertebrates coming along and maybe taking a drink out of your pitfall trap, you might want to use propylene glycol. But what you do is you simply pour a couple of centimeters worth into the bottom of your cup. Propylene glycol and ethylene glycol are used quite a bit as killing agents because they're viscous and they don't evaporate nearly as quickly as ethanol 
or alcohol of other forms or water itself. And so this you can leave out for several days and come back and it will not have evaporated either, even in rather hot weather. Normally with a pitfall trap, you set it and then you come back either overnight, three days later, seven days later, and you collect the contents. Another thing to consider when you're dealing with pitfall traps is that the size of the trap will dictate the size of the organisms that you can catch. Something like this small pitfall trap that has a relatively small diameter of an opening will not allow large-bodied insects in. Something like a, a, a large beetle or a tarantula or something like that will be able to break its fall and, and not get caught. And so a small sort of cup like this is very good for small to medium-sized insects or other types of arthropods. If you're interested in larger arthropods, you're going to need a larger diameter cup. Coffee cans are often used, and five-gallon buckets are very useful for catching larger arthropods. Unfortunately, they also have the tendency to catch lots of vertebrates in them as well, such as lizards and shrews. Okay, so suppose your trap's been out here, and you've come back to see what you've got, and you find that you have something in it. And so what you can do is remove it, remove the contents, pour it into a collecting vial with a screw top lid, such as a specimen cup, or you can simply use a vial of alcohol, ethanol, 75 or 95 percent ethanol, aqueous solution, oops, that was good, get out of there, fish out your treasures, you might want to use a forceps for doing that. And here we have our artificial insect. Plop it in, label, denoting where, when you captured it, and so forth. And this can be taken back to the lab for further investigation.